So when it comes to acid-base indicators, you can actually make one at home. I've always wanted to do this, so quarantine, I guess, was my time. Um, red cabbage is something where if you just take it, and I took like two cups of hot water and just this much red cabbage and then boiled it, or sorry, blended it, um, and then strained it. I got a liquid, so it's kind of something like this. Okay, so this is just uh, water and red cabbage. Um, and as an indicator, if I put an acid or base in it, it changes colors to indicate uh, the pH. So with this, if I make it into acidic by putting an acid into it, it turns to more like this color. And if it's a base, it turns more like this color. So I'm going to take my red cabbage and just try different at-home substances and kind of show you guys what colors they turn. First I'm going to try is just regular Coke. So again, I have my indicator already in the test tube. A little bit of Coke here. Um, we'll see. Let's see what color it changes with Coke. Um, so I would say from that, that's acidic. And if you look at your pop can, you can actually see that it's true. Inside your pop, you've got phosphoric acid, uh, which would be an acid. So we would find that our pH is going to get lower than 7. A couple more things to try. I've got lemon juice and Windex here uh, already in the test tubes. So if we add the indicator to the Windex, you can see how it's definitely getting toward that blue-green, showing that the Windex is a base. And then for lemon juice, we add the indicator to that one. Oh yeah, it goes pink right away, showing you that the lemon juice is acidic. So lemon juice has that sour taste that is classic for acid. Um, this Windex has ammonia in it, and ammonia is a weak base. So you can see how it's that green color now of a base. Another one to try is baking soda. So baking soda is not classic. If you look at the formula of NaHCO3, um, I think it is, doesn't really appear to be an acid or a base. Um, but if you put indicator in with baking soda, you can see how it turned blue going toward that base. So we use um, baking soda to neutralize a lot. It is a compound that takes out hydrogens as a base leaving a surplus of hydroxides behind, thus making it basic. So baking soda can always be used to neutralize if you have an acid of some kind. Um, another one my kids mentioned to try was milk. So we thought we'd see is milk acidic or basic, I don't really know. Um, and when we mix it into milk, to me it looks like it didn't change color at all, kind of stayed purple, sorry, wrong where neutral is. So if milk is a little acidic or basic, this indicator isn't sensitive enough to catch it. So milk is pretty neutral. Um, I also grabbed just some dish soap from by our sink. Um, I'm not sure if dish soap will change it either. Yeah, may have gone slightly acidic, not much. Um, cleaners are not always bases. We think of cleaners as bases, but a lot of cleaners actually have some kind of acid in them to help them clean. So this soap looked pretty neutral, um, but it's really hit or miss. You never know if a soap of some kind is going to be an acid or a base. Last thing I'm going to do with this indicator is just show you that reversible nature of acid-base reactions and also that idea of neutralization. So in here I already have the indicator and hydrochloric acid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add sodium hydroxide to it. So sodium hydroxide is a very strong base. So as I add this to the acid that's here and allow it to mix, What we'll start to get is a color change, right? As I'm adding the base, I'm going closer and closer towards this being neutral as all the sodium hydroxide interacts with all the hydrogens that are in with the hydrochloric acid. Now, at times it's very colored, but as I mix it, that's where we get the contact of the collision theory. And now you can see I've already shifted enough that it's turned blue really to that base area. So I went from acid to base. Okay, so now if I add hydrochloric back to it, we can see it come back to being acidic. So acid-base reactions are reversible. I can make them acidic or basic as I add to them. And if I can get it right in between, I can get it to neutral. It's a very, very, very fine point and really hard to hit, but there I'm pretty close. Okay, so I took a drop of base to get me there. Once I'm close to neutralization, because it's a logarithmic scale, it doesn't take more than a drop of something to transfer the color pretty drastically, okay? 
So sodium or um, acid base reactions are reversible. Um, neutral is that point in between, and it's really hard to hit. Um, so neutralization reactions, kind of that last point, is that point when I am between being acidic and basic. Okay, and it's fun. So you could do this at home. I mean, obviously not with hydrochloric acid and hydroxide if I don't have it, but like with vinegar and baking soda, for example.